Okay, we're joined here with Nathan Carter ahead of his gig in the Marquee. How are you doing? I'm very good, yeah. Delighted to be back again in Cork. Uh, this is my fifth time playing this fantastic big tent um, that they stick up in the middle of Cork for the summer. It's great. And uh, you did a live album here at the Marquee, so the Marquee is uh, very special to you? It is, yeah. I mean, when I started out, um, and uh, kind of over the last five years, when it started getting the gig started getting bigger and um, this was the biggest gig I'd ever done and um, we decided to film it and record it for a DVD and a live CD um, and the DVD has gone on to be shown on RTE a good few times and um, been shown in America actually recently across the PBS network so uh, Cork's a very special place to me and, and it's um, it's it, that, that DVD and CD I'm very proud of it you know there's a great atmosphere and um, generally the Cork people are fantastic you know at, at getting an atmosphere going for a gig so I love it Excellent. And in terms of your music um, first day, was music something always that was on in the family with you and that kind of a thing? Or how did you get into that? Yeah, my granddad used to play the old country uh, singers like Johnny Cash and Patsy Cline, um, and Meryl Haggard, all them old singers. And I, from when I was three or four years old, I was singing Johnny Cash songs, you know, growing up. So, um, and my, my other granddad, my dad's dad, played the accordion. So he taught me the accordion when I was really young. Um, and it been musical ever since. Um, I've gradually got worse as the years have gone on, but uh, I've always loved music. I, I, I couldn't do anything else. I really couldn't do anything else. I, I don't think at this stage, you know. And there's always been a great connection between country music and Irish music. Why, why do you think those two kind of blend together so well? Well, I think you know the Irish music definitely has stemmed from you know the folk music of story songs and sitting around and playing a few tunes and telling a few stories, and the, the songs are very much a story in the same way the country songs are they're basically a um you know mainly about love or death or um the dog got killed or something you know so um generally the <laughs> they're all basically a story song but uh, th- i suppose the instruments as well lend themselves like the fiddle the banjos the accordions the mandolins th- they're very much intertwined with irish music and folk music and country as well so yeah, and we were listening to your new uh, your new song the office this morning the office. Um, in, in our office right, yeah, yeah, dan- yeah dancing around the office on a friday <laughs> to it um where does the inspiration come for you for your for your songs um well i, I didn't write the new one now i got sent it by a guy a friend of mine don mescal who's from limerick originally and um he'd written it for written it for an american singer but he didn't want it the american guy or he didn't cut it anyway so he sent it to me and um I was lucky enough to get it, but writing-wise, I, I recorded. Um, I've written a lot of songs at this stage, but um, I, uh, I I don't particularly enjoy the writing stage. I get very frustrated writing. I I I, uh, I, I'm, I don't know. I, I guess I I put myself down a bit a lot when I'm writing. I never think it's good enough, or I don't want people to hear it. So, um, but when I do finish a song. Um, I generally write when I'm on the road and I'm always putting notes in my phone and singing into my phone. If anyone see me, they'd think I was completely <laughs> nuts sitting at the traffic lights singing <laughs> to my phone, you know, or, or saying these words up to myself in the car. But uh, yeah, generally just when I'm on the road is, is when I come up with, with ideas and tunes and melodies and stuff, you know. And you're in the middle of a bit of a tour at the minute. So how's yeah. that going for you? Good, yeah. I'm delighted to be back in Ireland. We were in America for three weeks there, um, and earlier on we were in Germany this year doing a tour there. And uh, we always do the UK every year, England and Scotland. And um, so this this the next few months I'm just in Ireland, which is great because I get to ho- go home most nights uh, to my own bed. So I, I enjoy that, and I like being on tour in Ireland. It's always good fun. So, so very much. Thank you so much for taking time out to join us, and uh, best of luck with the gig tonight. Thank I'm you. sure it'll be a good one. Thank I you. Appreciate it. Cheers.